Well, everyone, another week, another Fear of Frontier. I'm your host, Spline Apple, and we got more exciting news coming your way. This week, we're going to be looking at an exciting upcoming technology that will soon be implemented in Firo, wrap addresses. Let's get started. Hold up. Before we go any further, Lelantis Anonymization Contest. Do it, join it, win it. Anonymize your Firo to be entered into a raffle to win prizes. All you have to do is anonymize your Firo with Lelantis and you're automatically entered into the raffle. Couldn't be easier. If you don't know how to anonymize, we made a video on doing just that. The link is in the description below. Okay, wrap addresses. No, wrap addresses isn't about freestyling your address to others. RAP is an acronym that stands for Receiver Address Privacy, and it's a way to increase user privacy. As powerful as Lelantis is, the weak point has always been the privacy on the receiver side. You may recall on a previous video where we showcased how Lelantis works on the blockchain that the receiver address is still visible. This piece of data alone is pretty useless with no amount shown, no sender, and no knowledge of if or when a transaction goes out of the wallet, the data you can glean from an isolated metric like this is very small. But here at Firo, even a small bit is too much, so we're plugging up the hole. We have a more robust solution coming in the second version of Lelantis that we're working on, but in the meantime, wrap addresses are a solid and vetted protocol that plays nice with our current version of Lelantis. It's a win for everyone. How is it vetted already, you might ask? Well, because wrap addresses were actually first created as an improvement protocol for Bitcoin. Bitcoin Improvement Protocol 47, or BIP 47 to be precise. It's been implemented in a couple of Bitcoin wallets in some form or another, but has failed to see widespread adoption in the Bitcoin ecosystem. Firo, on the other hand, is happy to take full advantage of this protocol to boost our already strong privacy up to another level. But enough about history. How do wrap addresses work? Well, best practice dictates that you are supposed to use a new address each time you receive Firo if you want to retain maximum privacy. But if you forget, or your preferred wallet makes this option difficult or inaccessible, some users may choose to forego this option out of convenience. It also makes it difficult to put things like a single donation address out there on your website or content creation channel, as you would be receiving many donations to that one address. Wouldn't it be great to just have one address that you post and be done with it? Well, that's more or less what wrap addresses do. You can generate a long alphanumeric string which is much longer than a standard Firo address, and give it to people who want to send you money. We call these payment codes. Once this payment code is shared, a user who wants to send you money can use the same payment code over and over again. And each time, it will automatically generate a unique Firo address that resolves to your wallet. Sounds neat? That's because it is. But there is one caveat. The sender does have to do a one-time transaction to get this working per payment code. They have to send a tiny Firo transaction that contains a piece of information that opens a channel between the two of you. Again, there is only a tiny bit of Firo sent in this transaction, but the miner fee does also need to be paid to get this transaction into a block first. So there's a small cost as well as a small wait time while it gets mined. But this does not have to happen each time. After the sender does this transaction to open the channel, it stays open forever. So they can now use the payment code to send you Firo again and again, generating a new address each time. This makes sense for several use cases, such as paying employees, recurring donations to your favorite content creators, and many more. The last interesting thing about all this is that transactions to a wrap address don't look any different than a regular transaction on the blockchain, so nobody can even tell that you're using them. It helps to build the anonymity set and helps you hide in the crowd. These wrap addresses will be opt-in at the beginning, meaning you'll have to set them up. They won't be the default in the Firo wallets. 
But we do want to stress again that even those users who do not choose to use this feature are still protected by Lelantis's already strong privacy, and that doesn't go away. This is just another small step users can take to ensure that everything is as private as can be, because that's one of the things that makes Firo such a powerful tool in our world today. To sum up, all of this makes it that much easier for the common person to retain their privacy without even having to think about it. It opens up new use cases with the same powerful privacy that Firo users have come to expect. And with that, I'm done here. Thanks for tuning in to the Firo Frontier for another week. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. This is Spline Apple, signing off.